Okay, so uh, here's a uh, <clears throat> rig rundown that I've set up. Uh, I think to start out, uh, I'll start with this atomic amplifier box, which is my main amp sound. This is all going <clears throat> stereo direct to my uh, Motu interface. Now it's on a uh, <clears throat> like uh, clean JCM 800 kind of tone. It's mostly set clean. If I change pickup and kind of dig in and get a little bit more dirt, um, yeah. And uh, I guess from there I'll start from the first in the chain, which is the uh, Philosopher's Tone, the uh, full one with the grit even though I have that uh, turned down all the way um, just kind of smooths everything out um, uh, depending on which guitar I use I use the uh, treble knob on there to bring back or take away presence um, on this guitar I'm using which is kind of a telly copy um, <clears throat> I usually need to add brightness to it because uh, it's a double humbucker and uh, I usually take away brightness with my uh, jazz master uh, from there it goes into the uh, stereo memory man this is before all the uh, all the drives that I have in there uh, so I can set it to do the the uh, my bloody Valentine thing. Which I've got it as a preset on here and it does uh, that kind of thing. And it's before the drive so you can get a real cool you know, add the soul food and the box of rock in. Uh, from there, I, th I think it goes into the volume. And then um, some combination of drives. Uh, I know it goes to the box of rock last. I think it goes soul food, rat, hoof, box of rock. Uh, the rat's just kind of set up kind of heavy. And then the uh, <clears throat> hoof is kind of the same thing. Uh, from there, um, so the last one before it hits the amplifier box, which is kind of set up to be, um, the middle section of the board, uh, all the pedals after that are set up in kind of a, an effects loop idea, because this has the, uh, you know, it's the amp and the cab sim on there also, so, um, actually not really an, even an effects loop, because this doesn't go through the cab sim, it's, it's more like, uh, you know, post effects. Um, but before it hits that, I go into the... Count to five. set up small loop it's 
it's in the uh I can't remember what the mode is called, a quintessence, where you can switch between different modes and keep the buffer the same. Also gives you a little bit longer uh, loop time on the... Uh... So once it hits the amplifier box, then it goes into the deco, uh, deco, which is um, <clears throat> kind of set up to split all the stereo signal from here on out. Um, so there it goes, kind of wide. Also got the um, saturation side, which is actually really nice. If you if kind of put it maybe right on the middle, that's kind of the highest um, highest kind of part that a uh, or highest kind of saturation you could get out of a tape machine. It does a really nice compression on like the top end. Of your tone, um, especially with the the count to five, which can kind of get kind of brittle, even with the low pass, kind of all the way all the way down on there. It kind of gets kind of brittle on the high end, so the deco deco uh, helps um, smooth that out. Uh, from there, I th think it goes echelon. Which is actually using the stereo wet. You know, one of my cables is a little scratchy. to the timeline. Uh, then into the lunar phaser. I kind of don't like the lunar phaser so late in the uh, in the chain, um, I thought it was going to be great, but um, without it going through the cab sim, it just kind of washes everything out a little bit too much. Uh, and then last in the chain is the uh, Ventress. I think right now is uh, on the room setting. It's just kind of uh, makes it nicer to listen to in headphones. Um, uh, but I do have some other presets. So we can try this one might be a little loud.
also, which that's the um, <coughs> the E Dome and the Shimmer kind of mixed together. <coughs> and then back at the top, this is a spring. Just a different flavor. I don't really like it because it's got this kind of fizzy top end. I'm not really sure what the problem is on that algorithm specifically. Uh, then this is kind of a reverse algorithm, kind of set up the same way that the MBV um, reverse reverb is on, on, that I have set up on the Memory Man. Uh, you can hear it all gets warbly when, when you have both of them going. Yeah, that's um, that's my rig rug down. Thanks for watching.